Hi, welcome to Morse code. Okay. We'll solve the popular lit code problem contains duplicates. This problem is not just an algorithmic exercise. It also has, you know, reward applications, such as ensuring data integrity and preventing duplicate transactions in fintech systems. That into the problem and explore efficient solutions. Yeah. So here's the problem statements, right? Given an integer array norms, return true if n value appears at least once, um, at least twice in the array and return false if every element is distinct, right? So uh, yeah, the problem is simple, right? Just need to determine if any value appears at least twice, right? If yes, return true. Otherwise, return false, right? So uh, there's a number of ways one could do this. I, uh, you know, just from the, uh, and that's why it's easy, right? One could use brute force. One could, one could solve it using brute force. You could solve it with brute force method. Like, so that's just us brute forcing a solution, right? And uh, I think you, you could use sorting as well. One could try to sort. And uh, third approach would most likely be using a hash set, right? So with brute force, all, all we want to do is to compare every pair of the elements, right? The sorting would involve us like sorting the array and, you know, checking for adjacent elements and uh, hash sets. You know, it's just us using access to like track scene elements for constant like time lookups, right? So uh, the brute force, I'll, I'll start with, like, you know, trying to do the brute force first. Um, for the brute force, we could, yeah, so I would uh, try to explain, right? So let's say, for example, let's copy this, right? Let's copy the imputes. Which is norms, right? Let's do this. So what we're gonna do is we have a double for loop, right? Two for loops, and we want to, you know, compare. So whilst we have our pointer on one, let me do a nice pointer there. So basically we we're gonna loop over. We're gonna would loop over the. All right, we have one pointer here, one pointer there. All right, then we check both. Right. So whilst we're on one, we keep going, going, going. So when we get to, so we keep comparing. Right. So the moment we see a value that's equal, then we return true. I think that's quite self-explanatory. But yeah, to code that out, it's a simple for loop. You know, we loop over the array, array norms. So, and in Python, this is how we loop. So this is the first loop, right? And we say for J in range length of norms. So, so but now, right, we are going to start from I plus one, right? Just like I showed in the array earlier, right? So I'm just gonna bring back the array so you see what I mean. So if you have the array, right? So you remember we start from here for the first loop and we start from two for the next loop, right? So for us to do that, let's close a quick uh, explanation. The first pointer would be here at this point, and the second pointer would be here. So that explains why we have i, i which is going to start from zero here, and i plus one, which is going to be the one-th first in, um, one -th index so, of the array. So, so if nums of i equals equals nums of j, then what do we want to do? We want to return true. We don't need to check, right? We don't, once it's 
once we find the first duplicate we just return true we don't need to keep checking and if you know we get to the end of the list right without the end of the array without any new value we want to say return false so if i run this i should work right and i submit it yeah that works right but you know it says the time limit exceeded obviously brute force is not the optimal solution right so i think if we run this in a different set it should definitely work but yeah so let's move to the opti optimal solutions right so so the next one is the sorting approach right so what what, what we want to do there is just this array we could sort it right in sorry. so this array we could sort right in all of n log n right and uh, once it's sorted then we compare um adjacent pairs right so that would be something like this we do this that would say uh, this array once it's sorted right it now becomes you know, let's say nums now become become one one two three right so once that's sorted the next thing to do would be go over the array and compare two decent elements and see if they're equal so yeah so to code that out it should be something like nums you want to do the you want to call the python sort method so now nums can be nums of sort if i in range now we still have to loop over the array right Line of um, nums minus one then what we want to do is to if nums right if nums of i equals equals nums of i plus one you know this is where we compare the so you know you know i explained you want to compare this first element to this and keep going that way well you compare this, this to this right compare this to this so the idea here is once it's sorted right if you have duplicates then they should be side by side right so whatever the array once it's sorted right so duplicates should be side by side so that makes you know apart from the time it takes to sort so i think it makes it faster right so we say return false right so this should run without issues and when we submit this because it's more optimal than the other one it should get accepted right so which is quite you know some progress so and the third approach which i which is the actual optimal approach right uh, you know the sorting approach the the brute force we was done in the sorting approach is n log n because we had to like sort right the brute force was the n square and this approach which is the hash set approach hash set this is the optimal solution so what we need to do here is that we you know we track scene elements right so whilst leaving over the array we check if the element already exists right in a set so once the duplicate is found we return and um, if it's if it's set then we continue so let me show a more graphical so what we want to do is we want to have maybe like an ash set right so here um we could use an actual python set right so when you use a python set you know we all are familiar with sets in python for those of us that are not familiar sets in python is some sort of data stock there you can't add two identical elements Right, so in a set you can add one and one, 
can only add one right just one so i said so what we're going to do is whilst we loop whilst we loop over the array what we want to do is so we start the loop right we check the scene set do we have one already no we don't right so then we add one to the set right so on the first iteration we have one in the set right so we go to two do we have two in the set no we add two then we add three then by the time we get to by the time the pointer gets to one here it checks the set to see if you already have one right we already have one then we will return true right if we don't have one we add it so by the time we get to the end of the list and we don't have any more values in the array or list whatever you want to call it and we return false so to do that we don't need this piece of code so we just say we declare our sets right you could also declare sets in python this way and uh, we say for num in nums because this time around we're just going one time and we don't really care about the really care about the index right so if num is seen then what do we want to do we want to return true right but if we don't have num in in, in scene then we want to say scene dot add num right and uh, we want to sorry so if we get out of the loop then we want to return false because at this point we're sure that we did not get like any duplicates so oh uh, yeah let's just run it let's submit it let's see yeah so that works that's nice so just to summarize right the complexity of each approach the brute force we took o of n square but we used o of one space right no extra space the sorting we had to like sort the array and that would take n log n time right and uh, of one space but the hash sets which is the most optimal right in terms of speed time complexity which is because we do it we went over the array just once so that's o of n however we used additional space because we have to like store the scene sets right and the worst case scenario is store the old sets and the old list in the sets right so that's o of n so so it's just like trade-offs right and it depends on your interviewer you know what your interviewer wants the hash set is the approach that's most efficient for this problem in terms of time complexity making it ideal for like large data sets right so in terms of like real world application because when i solve these problems i try to understand okay how might this be useful in real world right so i think this problem is fundamental in many real world scenarios such as like databases right when you want to ensure no duplicates records are inserted into the database right it's also important in e-commerce right when you want to prevent duplicate orders you know that's when you actually want to like implement it and also in networks you know in networking it's quite useful they use it a lot in networking to detect duplicate packets for data trans transmission so by solving this problem we've explored multiple approaches and learn how to balance trade-offs between time and space complexity. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more algorithm, algorithm deep dive. Um, um, let me know if you know in the comments if there's a problem you'd like to see me solve. Yeah, thanks. And that's it for today.